everyone, it's Karen from Arden Cove. Today I'm going to be uploading a plant haul. Or sharing a plant haul with you guys anyways. Hey everyone, it's Karen from Arden Cove. Today I'm going to share a plant haul from Josh's Frogs and I'm pretty excited. <laughs> it's been a while since I have uploaded and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to share some cool things. For today we're going to be checking out what's in this box which again I got from Josh's Frogs. I got a bunch of cool new things. I'm pretty excited. I am only slightly worried because it's been a heat wave in San Francisco. Um, so hopefully not everything is dead, but if you've ever been to San Francisco, you know we really don't get hot summers and it's just been crazy hot the last couple days. Um, I did get priority shipping and you could pick, you know, one day, two days. I got priority USPS, which is one to three days and it took uh, two days to get to California so it kind of ranges depending on where you live. I'm gonna go ahead and start unwrapping things. Ooh, I'm gonna get soil everywhere but that's okay. Um, this first one that I have here Ooh. Ah, soil everywhere. So they packaged it with a piece of craft paper and tape around some soil on this container and there's tape around the edges to keep it nice and straight. I'm gonna read off of this paper so that you can know what I ordered. So this is the Peperomia Vergata and this one cost... oh it doesn't have prices on this. Oh well this is really cute. It's a Peperomia Vergata and Looks like it's holding up pretty well. I'm probably just going to replant most of them into and water them so they're nice and fresh. But it looks in pretty good health and it's super cute. I love the little purple stems that they have at each of the um, nodes. And the leaves are variegated which means it has like these little yellow patches along with the green and I'm really excited this is really cute I can already see a couple ferns sticking out because I did get um, ooh, a lot of soil so I got let me just tell you really quickly I got a foliage plant bundle five pack and a fern bundle five pack so Josh's Frogs does this thing where you can order a bundle of plants, of five or ten of them, and they basically pick what to send you. Um, so a, a lot of these are kind of mystery plants I'm pretty excited about. Um, I also picked up a couple plants that I've been wanting to get for a while, and they're actually like kind of hard to find or sold out, or uh, you can only buy like larger plants that are more expensive. I specifically wanted a smaller plant, or smaller plants in general, so that A, it's cheaper, but B, I also get to grow and watch them get bigger, which I really enjoy. So. Uh, let's just dig right into it, I guess. So the ones that are part of the the bundles are labeled so you know what you're getting. This is the Sigonium Bold Illusion. And let's open this up. I can already see the leaves are a little bit crushed on this one. Unfortunately, the craft paper didn't quite cover the whole thing. It's pretty cute. So it has these little purple centers with the really light green leaves, a bunch of tiny leaves on the bottom. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, is this the one I think it is? Mm -hmm. I need to read what I got because I don't exactly remember everything. Um, I believe this is the Ficus Elastica Tanicki rubber plant. And I did get two of these because I've been wanting to get one for a while. I saw one being sold in a plant shop but it was a quite large one and it was also like $50, which I didn't want to spend on a plant even though it was gorgeous. I don't see a ton of variegation in these leaves, but typically, oh, there's a little bit on this one. So usually from what I've seen in photos, they grow in new plants or grow in new leaves that are pinkish. And then uh, as they get larger, it turns more to a variegated leaf that is like pink and white and green 
This is pretty cute. It's the smallest rubber tree I've ever seen. I've only ever seen pretty large ones. My parents had like a pretty large, um, like a regular green one, not a variegated one. But it's pretty cute. This one, ooh, this is the ficus burgundy. So this is also a rubber tree, which is this beautiful dark relief. And it's so cute. See, I'm not sure, that's why I'm not sure if this one is actually the rubber tree or not because as you can see from these, these are leaves I recognize a little bit more because they're a little bit thicker. If you can see, this one has really thin leaves and I'm not sure if it's the variegation, particular type of variegation looks like that or if it's another plant. But I did order two, so I guess if they look the same, it's probably correct. <laughs> Oh, here's some of them that are upside down, so hopefully they're not too crazy bad. But I think I, most of them should be okay with a little bit of TLC. So this one, I believe, is the Philodendron Moonlight, which is this sort of yellowy-green color. This one was a little bit smushed, but hopefully it'll be okay. I'll dust off the soil and clean it up a little bit in a second. Um, but these, I love the leaves of philodendrons. They're so beautiful. And like the shape of the elongated leaves, it's so cute. So I'm pretty excited about that one. I can already see this one. Oh, this one's quite large too. So this one, I can already tell is the philodendron uh, Prince of Orange because it has these beautiful leaves. Oh, some of them are a little smushed. Hopefully they're okay. First of all, it has like these beautiful red stems and then the new leaves come in orange. So it'll be like orange in the center with green on the sides and it's so pretty. There's the uh, purple on the undersides as well as the stems. And yeah, it's really beautiful. Hopefully these leaves, I mean, I don't think they'll heal or anything, but maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> This one is a tall one. It's so cute. This is the Pi 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 Pilea. I can't say it. This is the Pilea uh, peperomia or the Chinese money plant. They have these really cool circle leaves. And this is actually larger than I thought it would be. I was expecting like a teeny tiny little one. But this one's pretty nice. I can already see there's some little baby leaves. Hopefully they will grow up nice and big. This one's a little curled, but that's okay. I think it'll do, it'll do okay. You can see it was probably uh, placed with this side out because all of them are facing one way, but I think with a little bit of rotation, it'll sort of even out a little bit more. I still haven't gotten to a lot of the ferns, so let's start opening some ferns. This one is the White Rabbit's Foot Fern. Let's see here. Ooh. This one is a little bit crushed. Um, the leaves are quite delicate. It looks okay. It looks relatively good. It's a little bit smushed, but I think once I take the tape off of the sides, and clean it up a little bit. It should be okay. But these are really cute little leaves. You can tell there's some new growth at the top, so it's nice and happy. This one's super cute. I don't have a ton of ferns. I only have one uh, bird's nest fern, which actually kind of died when um, on my last trip to Asia, I was gone for a month. Someone was helping me plant it, but um, a couple of the plants suffered. It's not their fault, you know. I wouldn't expect anyone to like take super good care of them unless, you know, they really knew how to do it. Um, but it was kind of crazy. It turned transparent, like the leaves turned translucent, which I've never seen before. I think it was because it went into full sun too suddenly when um, I moved it. So I moved it to my sister's house uh, because the, it would be easier for them to watch um, 
Sorry, I didn't even read the name of this one. This one is the right... Wait, did I just say this one is the white rabbit's fit fern? This one is the emerald, emerald gem fern. So this one is the emerald gem fern. Sorry, I got distracted talking. Anyways, the, the fern is fine now. It's growing a lot of new leaves. It's very happy. Um, <laughs> the translucent leaves are turning slightly less translucent, but they're also sort of like turning yellow and dying off. So um, I'm probably going to snip them off as soon as it gets a few pretty healthy leaves. I don't want to cut off you know, all the leaves all at once. You only want to remove a little bit, make sure it has enough green leaves to photosynthesize and be happy. Oops. Um, but yeah, so this one is really cute. So the leaves are a little bit bigger. It looks almost like a herb. <laughs> but that looks really cute as well. This one is the lemon button fern. I love lemon. Does it smell? Why is it called lemon button fern? I wonder if it smells like lemon. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, these leaves are so cute too. It's nice and delicate. There you go. This is the fluffy ruffles fern. So much soil coming out of this one. Ooh. Let's see. It's a little bit smushed, but sort of fan it out gently. This is one that will look really cool once it gets a little bigger and starts growing like crazy. A little bit of brown leaves, not too bad. It's a little tangled. I don't, I don't want to mess with it too much. But this one's pretty cool. I like the shape of it. I think this one's just a, a broken, twisted leaf. But the rest of it looks pretty good. This one is a little bit tangled. There you go. I like that the bun bundles kind of give you a very a bunch of different options if you don't really know what you like. It's like a very uh, affordable way to get a bunch of different types all at once. This one is the bird's nest fern. Oh, so they actually sent me one that I already have, but it's the only other fern I have and it looks much healthier than the one I have because it, it was not dying. Oh, and there's so many new little leaves, so it looks really nice and healthy. Um, so I have a slightly larger version of this, but it's nice to have a little version as well. It's very cute, and I already know how to take care of it, so that's nice. And um, I was also thinking if I, any, I got any duplicates that I could also just uh, gift them to friends. Um, who might be interested so yeah I'm pretty happy with the five different ferns that I got eee, so much soil everywhere but it's okay I've been like redoing uh, I bought a bunch of furniture for Memorial Day there's a lot of sales so my whole room is kind of a mess I've also uh, moved out a bunch of stuff that uh, didn't belong to me. The person who lived here before me, aka my sister and her family, uh, left a lot of their stuff. <laughs> so I finally got them to move out all their things, but it's a process to go through it all. And they're going to move it next week, so there's still a lot of stuff lying around, but also a lot of trash and recycling that needs to be sent to the bins, but uh, there's no room in the bins. <laughs> uh, they're all full and it's like a day later after trash day. Anyways, <laughs> this one is a stag horn fern. Platycerium vidici, I believe, or the lemonoine. lemonoine. It's also just commonly called the French stag horn fern. I see it labeled a lot as a stag horn fern. And these grow to be massive and you can mount them on the wall, on some wood, and all sorts of cool things that uh, I don't know if I'll get to soon, but at some point that would be pretty cool. My friend has a really cool big one in her apartment, so I'm pretty excited to watch this one grow. I actually got two of them, which... Is it here? No? Oh, so... 
amendment. I did get two of them, and when you get two of the plants, which I did for the Taneki, 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 which I did do for the rubber tree, the variegated rubber tree, and the staghorn fern, they actually come in the same little cup. So that's pretty cool. Peeked at a couple of the plants because I was looking for the other one, but uh, now I know what else I got. <laughs> so this one is the spat Spatophyllum Vicky Lynn, which is uh, a Spatophyllum is more commonly called peace lilies. So this is part of the uh, foliage plant bundle. And uh, so there's a bunch of different variations of a peace lily, and this is one of them. I don't know exactly. I have one big peace lily. It's kind of droopy right now, uh, so I won't show it to you. But I don't know what variation that is, so hopefully they're different. Uh, my sister has a different peace lily that is like super big and cool. Um, and that one's also like different looking like the leaves are a little broader and bigger because it's an older plant and then this one looks like Not as narrow as this one. I don't know. It's hard to tell because they're such different sizes So they could be the same they could be different, but I'm pretty excited that I have a tiny little piece of lily now It's pretty cute. Next is a ficus tanicki tanicki tanicki. Oh, so so I actually have three of these now because I bought two on my own. This one definitely looks a little bit more worse for wear than the other two. Um, but you know what? Uh, it's not too bad. There's like a little t t three leaves that are kind of unhappy, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I already ordered two of these because I was planning on giving the second one away, but now I have three, so maybe I'll keep two and give one away. This is dangerous. This is dangerous, you guys. <laughs> oh, what did I get myself into? This is a Diffibachia Tropic Marianne. So I do have another Diffibachia. But it, that one is actually, um, I don't know if it's technically called variegated, but it does have white in the center of the leaves. And this one is, it looks like it's supposed to be all green. There's some yellow spots. So I have to look into what's up with that and try to help it out. Looks like there's a little new leaf there, so that's pretty exciting. So that is another one in the bundle. And then this one is actually pretty cute. This one is a fiddle leaf fig. And it's so tiny. So I actually do have a larger fiddle leaf fig that's right here and I got this one very affordably at Lowe's and actually these two leaves are grown and then there's a new one coming in so it's gotten a little bit taller since I've gotten him earlier this year and now I have a baby one so you can kind of compare how big this one is going to get hopefully if I don't kill it um, I have another baby fiddle leaf fig at my parents' house that's not doing too well, so hopefully this one does a little better. But it's so cute, a baby fiddle leaf fig. And for a great price, because this plant actually can get very, very expensive. I think I got the big one for less than $20, which is extremely rare. You can see like really big ones go for like easily $100 or more, um, and like maybe a medium one can be like 50 or something like that. But yeah, this one's pretty cute. I'm really happy to get another fiddle leaf fig. That's all of the plants that I got, and I'm very excited about all of them. I can't wait to repot them in cute pots and watch them grow. I did order a ton of pots because I was expecting these to arrive, obviously. Um, unfortunately, I've had some issues with delivery and I don't know, hopefully they arrive tomorrow so I can get them situated and start having them be a little bit happier. So there you go, that's an overview of all of the plants. 
Also, I forgot to mention I got another new plant, which is this cute little air plant in a little hanger. It's super cute and it looks so great with my bookshelves, with my other things. But anyways, this was a present and it was from a nursery in San Francisco called Plant Therapy. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. It's my first and only air plant at the moment and they're super easy to take care of. All you have to do is soak it in water once a week for uh, you know, 5 to 15 minutes and then let it dry in a sunny place with a towel underneath or whatever and then you could put it back and it's good. Very simple, very easy and adorable on my plant shelf. Sorry if the audio is not too great in this video. I left the window open because it's really freaking hot. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little plant haul and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos check out my channel and subscribe turn on notifications all of that jazz if you like travel go ahead and check us out at art and cove as well our youtube channel has a lot of cool travel videos coming up which i'm pretty excited about and what else our website is artincove.com gotta gotta do all the promo anyways Mm, what else? If you want to see any other videos, please let me know. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.